Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. Virgo sun, moon rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And links below if you'd like to get a personal reading from me. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Past energy, we have, I don't pull reversals. The Wheel of Fortune, oh, there's you, the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, Present Energy, the Knight of Pentacles, the Star, the Nine of Cups, and the Future, Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Death card. Okay, interesting. Let me see, hold on here. I just wanna get these nice and set up here okay now we're going to do some romance angels to see what the love messages are first before i get into your reading okay what does virgo need to know the love messages sorry i just want to get my microphone a little bit closer <clears throat> so you can hear me all right love messages for virgo what does virgo need to know okay we have a couple jumpers. Reconciliation. Pay attention to the red flags, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> like it's 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 like some of you do want to reconcile with someone, but then it's like, hold up, wait a minute. Do we have red flags? What's going on here? Okay. So that's for the past. Okay. You you definitely had some kind of reconciliation with someone in the past, okay? Um but there might have been some red flags, okay? So someone in the past, perhaps from your past, came back to you, okay, in the past. And um, so we've got the world card here. Uh, this person was like trying to make some kind of a change with you, okay? It was a turning point. That's this, The person that you were connecting with, when they came back, in the past, it was, they had like some kind of, they were trying to make some type of change, okay? Turning point in their life, right? For some of you, this person, um, maybe they wanted to have a child, okay? Because we do have the sun card and that is the card of, there's a child on there, okay? But this person was very positive about you and um, very positive about the changes and was hopeful, that kind of thing. Um, but there were some red flags here. Now, they might have been looking at you and seeing some red flags in you, Virgo. All right, two of swords. So either way, I feel like you both were picking up. The red, biggest red flag was that this situation was kind of like stalled or a stalemate. It was like, I feel like both of you wanted things to move forward in the past, but there was like a blockage here. Okay, let me just get clarifying card for this Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, all right, there was a little bit of deception happening here. Um, I feel like for some of you, this person might have tried to like run into your arms because they were leaving another situation and trying to reconcile with you. You probably picked up that this was not going not really like it was a red flag you maybe you knew this okay that they were just kind of in a position of like needing to recover and just decided to come your way okay for some of you that might be your story for others this person was really trying to make a change um in <clears throat> themselves um there might have been either they were betrayed or they were still in a place of being dishonest, okay? And I do feel that this person was trying to like shift that energy away, okay? Um, with you in the past, trying to get away from that. Now let's see, yeah, the Three of Swords. But this person, okay, you could have been dealing with another Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We also have Aquarius. And we have Scorpio and Leo um, so far. But I feel like this person. Oh, okay. There was some kind of heartbreak 
or argument or something with this person before. And then they may have come back in to try to reconcile and move things forward and then try to heal some kind of heartbreak or argument or something that might have happened between the two of you. Because the Three of Swords can represent heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression, even surgery, okay? Um, but they also felt like coming back, they didn't know if they would be able, like they were positive about it, but they weren't 100% sure if they were going to be able to stick because there was something about your communication between the two of you that caused that Three of Swords energy that it sits with you. Maybe the way you communicated or that you said things, whether intentionally or unintentionally, that caused um, like piercing of the heart. Your person, I feel like, is very sensitive, uh, like hyperly, hypersensitive. I almost said hyperly sensitive. Like I make my own words here up on my channel. Yet still very positive about you, even though like that so the ten of wands is i just feel like they really wanted to c try to like put an end to the struggle and whatever burdens you know it was just really exhausting the relationship it's all positive cards underneath but the clarifiers just show betrayal heartbreak and just this element of like heavy heavy energy okay and i feel like because of that that it caused a stalemate and it's like you both wanted to be together hence the reconciliation but there was just these blockages here i don't know if it was you you say something they react they say said something you react and it just was like can we just put these can we just put these burdens down put these like it's stop being in a stressful environment try to like be happy together yeah difficult difficult past energy okay reconciliation mostly because both of you didn't want to be like lost out there without each other because there really isn't anybody else for either one of you except both of you together like you're both made for each other but it's unbearable to be in this five of pentacles energy because when you guys are not together there's just this feeling of like isolation even for some that caught it affects somebody's work gets affected by it when you're not together when there's no positive energy even like ill health can come from it or worry right and that and it's like you ever hear like how people who are married for like 50, 60 years and when one of them passes, the other one passes because they get sick because the other person is not there. Is that codependency? No, that's like true love. That's like th this thing with you two that you need to be together. Keep coming back to each other. Keep staying in touch in the past. Okay, in the past. The present energy though is like, fresh hope your person they have a knight of wands this person now i do feel there is some kind of renewal this person your person wants some kind of renewal i'm going to pull some romance cards here you deserve love you are lovable okay let's see and heart to heart conversations in the present honestly discuss your feelings with each other well there's going to be an opportunity to talk and this is a long time coming and i feel like with this knight of pentacles energy um, your person is going to be very patient but come in and make some kind of an offer to you but something solid and something real okay uh, they may be bringing you a gift or some type of physical item you might receive from this person. Oh, that was your sign. Let's get a clarifying card here. Okay, King of Swords. A gift along with some communication, I feel. Could be like somebody delivering something. You know how like you get a driver that delivers a package of some sort? Interesting. For some, it could be coming in September.
for some, not all of you. You're Virgo, so you, you September Virgos might be getting a birthday gift early, right? It could have to do with your your birthday time period. Let's see, the King of Swords now, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, yeah, this person is really thinking hard about, I feel because the King of Swords is here, King of Swords are about thoughts and communication. So I feel like your person is really thinking hard about what to say and what to offer, okay? But I do see with the star card, your person could be in the public eye, like, you know, they say this a star. Um, there's inner clarity here, some kind of miracle, having faith, renewal, hope. Um, and for other, you know, it doesn't have to be a spotlight situation. It's just this person. Uh, it could just be they're feeling very hopeful about this connection. Oh, the three of wands. They might send you something or send you a gift or something tangible. I'm just feeling something you can hold in your hands. Um, and they're thinking very carefully, taking their time about what they want to say or give to you. And that three of wands energy, I feel like this person is in, they're hopeful that it might be like a ticket to go somewhere or um, receiving a ticket to go somewhere. Um, it's something to do with travel because the three of wands is here. Okay, expansion, this person, it's about teamwork. All right. And the nine of cups, well, that's like abundance. That's emotional fulfillment here. That's the wish cards. You've got two wishes, the star and the nine of cups. Yep. Wishing to manifest a new start with you, Virgo. Okay. And this heart to heart conversation might be included in this gift. You could be getting something that they send you. Like it could be thinking about sending you a birthday card or a gift with some writing in it of some sort. Um, you know, and if your birthday's not in September, it's just like the present energy, okay? Um, so it's mostly like, I don't see action being taken. I see it's gonna take some time for this person to either initiate or respond, but there's going to be an open, heartfelt conversation. Um, because I feel like you both recognize that you both deserve to love one another. You both deserve this love. And I feel like that's what the stalemate was. Nobody was communicating. And that caused a huge red flag. And now I see that changing. Let's take a look at the future love messages here going forward. Now we have the magician. So that again is Virgo. Uh, Gemini energy and this person could be thinking like you're just everything to them that magician energy some of you might be practicing magic or but I feel like this person wants to just put everything out on the table okay going forward engagement okay your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Okay, wow. Somebody's going to ask their friends to help them plan a wedding or an engagement. Um, or uh, speaking to your friends to help. Either you speaking to your friends to help you with this new beginning here that's coming in the future. Like an actual real thing. Um now that's support. It doesn't have to be friends. It could just be from anybody, right? Um, maybe it's you who's going to propose. That might be what this is in the in the present energy. And that present energy can just go. I say twenty four hours, but this energy can play out really at any time. Um, it could be like offering a ring, like I was saying, something you can hold, or a gift, or um, like an engagement. Um, okay. Hmm. So the near the the future. <laughs> this person, I, Virgo. I don't know if you're gonna. I feel like you're gonna respond in a very positive way to this person. But man, they have got their eye. They will be having their eye on you, watching. I just heard that song. Every breath you take. Every move you make, 
can't stop you, take off your watch and you. <laughs> That's awful. That song scared me when I was a kid. I was like, what is going on with this song? Um, very curious, spying. This person is on a mission for truth with you. Um, but is very enthusiastic. This person is smitten. They will be absolutely smitten with you if they're not already. That's that page of Juan's energy. It's like phew, ready to put the past in the past and move forward and go into like a higher level of commitment and even possibly engagement in marriage. Let's take a look. What is this? Yep. There's the high priest. This person's going to want to know. They're going to ask you, you know, they'll, they'll, they might not give you the ring or a, like um, an engagement ring or something. They might be trying to like think about, they're taking their time thinking about this. But I do feel like there will be communication and they will ask you how you feel about, you know, getting into a higher level commitment or, you know, <laughs> engagement here for marriage. What are your thoughts on marriage? What do you think about marrying me? What do you think about us? That page of wands is like very enthusiastic. I feel like a, a, this heart to heart conversation is really going to open up those floodgates and change everything. Change everything. Okay, justice. So Taurus and Libra energy. So yeah, it's like, okay, well, you want to get married, we could do it in a church, or we could just go like in front of the justice of the peace. I don't care. You're mine, Virgo. And I don't want anybody else. And you and I are going to do it. And we're going to be together. Virgo, you are Virgo, you're getting married. <laughs> you're getting like, look, engagement. It's engagement in the tr traditional sense, or just like a full blown commitment, exclusive, just you and this person. And like with the death card here, it's like big changes and an ending to the past stuff and moving forward together. It's a rebirth and a transformation going forward. Here's a hermit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is like seeking. This person is has sought the clarity, will continuously light the way in the dark for you and them. I just, I've just heard like a beacon of light and a beacon of hope. These are three major arcanas here, okay? So some of you, well, I'm not going to pull out all the signs because I just feel like that would just be too limiting because <clears throat> some of you might, you know, I don't know what, if I'm not, I don't know if it's somebody new coming in. I mean, the only court card is here. It's a king of swords. So this can be somebody who's got air in their chart somewhere. Let's get another card for the Hermit. Oh, yeah. Temperance. Whew, this, <laughs> this person is like possessing a certain amount of self-control. They have to when it comes to you. They're so excited to have this new beginning with you and start your lives over and just leave the past in the past. And that temperance, oh, my goodness. It just It just feels like this was like divine timing here. It just, it just comes right at the right time. Whatever you've been waiting for all this time or you've been struggling with, um, you and this person, I feel like you guys come into balance. You come into harmony with one another. Okay? You've been so patient. They're, they will be patient to wait for you for whenever you're ready. I feel like you are going to be consulting with some friends just to make sure. Because there were red flags in the past. Um, and there was some damage in the past, but I feel like this heart to heart conversation, they're going to talk to you because they do believe that you deserve love and they do believe that you deserve the best that they have to offer. And I feel like they will tell you that if you haven't had this heart to heart, um, it, like it's going to get started somehow. And there's going to be like an honest, open discussion of feelings. All right, let's just get some love messages here just pull a few and see what this person would want to tell you virgo okay i know that i crossed the line with you okay maybe that's something in the past there might have been cheating or betrayal or running away they crossed that line and ran away right 
I left you before you could leave me. See, I feel like this person is really coming to terms with them, some things. And maybe they were running away from you because you weren't communicating. Maybe you were too, like, seeing a lot of red flags and you weren't trying to open up. Whatever it was, like, I don't know if you guys were reacting off one another. No, it was just like, it just kept coming to a full stop. And then you guys separate and you're left out in the cold. One, this person in here says they left before you could leave. But then reconciliation, you guys would come back together again and like on and on and on. I replay our conversations over and over. So they just have not forgotten about you. I'm becoming a better person, which is wonderful. I feel like this person, you know, you're both going through this growth and transformation for sure. Um, either together or separately, but I feel like um, there's some new, it really just has to do with this like open heart to heart conversations that needed to be had that just either one was having them and the other wasn't listening or vice versa. Okay, I know I messed up everything. Wow, I don't know what the heck this person did. I wish things could be different and I feel like that's why they're coming back in here to make these changes. I'm starting to understand our connection. See, Virgo, I feel like um, this person just didn't understand you and didn't understand what the connection was about. Now, either, you, either they didn't understand because they just couldn't see who you were and they weren't trying to understand or you were just completely blocked and you weren't revealing enough. Virgo, this person loves you. They do. Believe it. Some of you are like, yeah, I know. Some of you already know. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay. They might have some good news that's coming in, and that, that might be what they're bringing forward to you to communicate with you about. Could be something to do with finances or money. Okay. Um, if they haven't done it already, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. They may have been forced to let you go. Um, maybe you made them let go or they made you let go, but either way, um, doesn't matter who did it first. Um, because even when one person does it first, it means the other person has to do it also. So this person, whether it was initiated or it was reactive, it was difficult for them. And that's their message. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And I feel like they're going to come in and ask for your, your forgiveness. I feel like that's what the heart to heart conversation that a part of that will be there. I wish I could take back my words. See, and that's what they hope that you can forgive because they may have said some tough things to you in the past. Yep. They may not have even realized that the things that they were saying was hurtful. Okay, um, but I feel like now they realize it and now they just wish they could have it as a do over. I hid who I really am from you. And I really feel like you both kind of did um, the deeper, the deeper parts, you know, those deep vulnerable parts. And this person, they've been burying themselves in work to forget you. And obviously that's not working. They wish they had treated you better. Oh my goodness. And they do wonder if you are happy without them. But <coughs> Virgo, get real. Are you? Are you truly happy without this person? Or are you just getting by? One person is giving too much in this relationship. Okay, so the need to seek balance. And I do see that coming here in the in the future. Okay, it might have been you might have been them over giving. Um, but here, look how it heals. That energy starts to heal where you guys just come into sync. You, you sync with one another going forward <coughs> because of this heart to heart, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Okay. Somebody works way too much and that might be a third party interference work or anything else. Okay. Or online computer stuff working too hard to get attention or you know the computer or a work situation so i say all the time you know like things have to be real and authentic to people face to face if there's way too much texting way too much facetiming 
you know, like way too much emailing. Um, like if you're not face to face, because in the flesh, it ha everything is real and better. You can touch each other's skin. You can kiss. You can hug. You can lay together. You know, anything that prevents that from happening causes a disconnect. Now, if a disconnect, if it's being done this way. Um, to communicate those ways, that might be a way to avoid um, being vulnerable. It, it keeps the relationship weak, okay? Um, so many things remind me of you, Virgo. This person, I just feel like they always think about you. Okay, I'm not going to pull any more cards because we've hit 25 minutes and I think that that's good enough. I don't even know what to call this. I think I do. Virgo. I hope that got, uh, gave you some insight and some a source of hope. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed that. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the video and my channel. I'm trying to get to the 10K. That would make me so happy. And But thank you for all the support, you guys. And I will see you here tomorrow. All right, take care.